Hi guys, this is Rich here on behalf of Rich TV Live, and I've been doing some research on a company that I think has some huge potential. It's called RYU, Respect Your Universe, and it's just the news on it, it just seems enormous, and for a very, very cheap, cheap stock. Network News Audio announces audio press release APR on why RYU Apparel Inc. setting trends with more than just clothing. This was the news on Friday. Network News Audio announces that audio press release APR titled Athleisure Wear is crushing it on the street featuring RYU Apparel under the symbol RYU and under the symbol RYPPF in America and in the Frankfurt Exchange under the symbol RYA. If you want to hear the network news audio, follow the link. Another important thing to look at for the industry is a company's ability to secure patents on its innovative athleisure wear. RYU owns several patents on its products, including the Tillayer waistbands that addresses several problems with existing yoga pants, allowing a full range of flexibility for yogis, weightlifters, walkers, and joggers. The athleisure trend is about more than just clothing. However, it's about demanding quality and performance in every setting. RYU is more than a clothing company. It's an innovative tech company dedicated to improving the quality of urban athletic wear with very product product with every product they design. The company's extensive list of patents is an extension of the approach, providing legal protection against competitors lagging behind. RYU, Respect Your Universe, is a award-winning urban athletic apparel and accessory brand engineered for the fitness, performance, and lifestyle of athletically-minded men and women. Innovatively designed with compromise and tailored for fit, comfort, and durability, RYU exists to facilitate human performance. For more information, visit ryu.com. The news on this company is enormous. Meet the innovative sport apparel company that crushed Lululemon and Under Armour's numbers. That's right. They crushed Lululemon and Under Armour's numbers. I mean, that's pretty big. Some of the men's clothing, just go to men's and you can take a look at all the different clothing and styles. So very nice styles, very nice fit. And you can see the prices. They're not super cheap. So they're not going for like a low end customer. They're going more for a customer that's going to be a little bit more affluent financially. I think because of that, the, the revenues on the company have the potential to be very, very high. So it reminds me kind of like the cost, maybe not as much as Lululemon, but you're kind of more of a high-end customer. And that was the market that Lululemon went after. And that's why you can see here that their their numbers apparently are crushing Lululemon and Under Armour, which are also a little bit more expensive. It's not Walmart type pricing. You're going to pay a little bit more, but you're going to get a higher quality fit, nicer clothing. And I believe this is the market that they are targeting. And because it's so cheap, I mean, look at this. It's at 19 and a half cents. It's crazy. It's dirt cheap. And you can see it's been as high. We'll mark it here. It's been as high as 69 cents. So, and it's recently been as high as 28. It's been as low as 11 and currently at 19 and a half. And we're going to mark it here because I believe this is a company that has some really big upside. You can see it's up 209% in the last year, which is pretty amazing. 112% in the last three months alone. So, and 112% in the last month alone. So it's made a big move. So be careful for a trend reversal. Now remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here on Rich TV Live. It is a 56% buy on bar chart. And if we look at investing.com, we will see that it is a buy on the five minute chart, a buy on the hourly chart, a strong buy on the daily chart, and a buy on the 15 minute chart. So right now it's looking pretty good on all the charts and you can see that it's been much higher it's been recently lower and it's starting to climb. So it could be a good time to start getting into this company. When we look at Morningstar, we can see all of the statistics here. More information about the company. 
RYU Apparel Inc. is a tailored urban athletic apparel company. It engages in the development, marketing, and distribution of apparel, bags, and accessories. The company's products are engineered for fitness, training, and performance of the multidisciplined athlete. Its products include tees, tops, hoodies, jackets, tanks, Henleys, etc. The firm maintains, operates in Canada and the United States. It derives the majority of its revenues from Canada, and it does have three stores in Canada. Vancouver, one in Metrotown, and I believe they just opened up a store in the United States. Respect Your Universe opens first U.S. store and debuts Your Universe campaign. On August 2nd, RYU, creator of Urban Athletic Apparel, is pleased to announce the opening of its first USA retail store and debut of Your Universe campaign. I love that name. I love the power of Your Universe. It sounds amazing. The new store located at 1130 Abbott Kinney Boulevard in Venice, California, ooh, California, officially opens its doors this morning, August 2nd, 2008. What do you guys think about this? If you like this, please smash the like button, comment down below. I want to know what you think about Respect Your Universe. Seems like a great company. Look at this. More news. RYU Apparel announces upgrade to the US OTC QB marketplace. Wow. This is just like last week, they just moved up to the OTC QB. So they are on the OTC QB, RYPPF is the symbol there. RYU or the company creators of Urban Athletic Apparel is pleased to announce the commencing of October 8th, 2018. Its common shares will be listed for trading on the OTC QB marketplace under the trading symbol RYPPF. So that's huge news for anyone in America that wants to get into this company that has so much potential. So cheap. Can you believe how cheap it's trading in America? Unbelievable. RYPPF, look at this. You can see it's only trading at 15 and a half cents in America right now. And it is just getting started and expanding throughout America. It's crazy. Wow. We continue to expand our operations in the United States, opening a few more locations in the coming weeks, says Marcel Lyon, CEO of RYU. Providing this platform to our existing and prospective U.S. shareholders is just the natural evolution of our corporate structure. Having received many inquiries from retail, private wealth, and institutional investors, we had to address, I love this, and respect what the U.S. market requires, and the OTCQB follows and allows for this exposure. I had to say it twice because it's so big. At leisure is one of the fastest growing fashion sectors in the United States. Sales reached USD 9.6 billion in sales nationwide in 2017, an impressive 17% increase from 2016. That's a huge jump. Morgan Stanley projects the US athleisure market will grow by a whopping 864% to 83 billion USD by 2020. Unbelievable. So, I don't know, guys. What do you think? I think this could be very undervalued. Look at this. They won in a legal battle. RYU Apparel Inc. prevails in trademark legal matter with Lululemon over RYU Mark. This just breaking from last week. Creator of Urban Athletic Apparel is pleased to announce that it has successfully protected its reg registration over RYU trademark registrations in Canada including the RYU logo. The company also has trademark registrations in the United States, China, and Hong Kong. Lululemon Athletic Inc. Lululemon has advised that it does not intend to um, expunge any RYU trademark registrations of the company that had been issued from the Canadian Intellectual Property Officer, CIPO, including the RYU stylized trademark, the RYU Marks or oppose the current trademark applications for the RYU marks. The legal matter started in March 2017 after the company advertised its application for the RYU stylized trademark on the January 2017 edition of the Trademarks Journal and Lululemon sought and received an extension from CIPO to consider whether to oppose the RYU marks, having produced a t-shirt prominently featured the letters RYU 
even though the company was already operating with multiple stores and a growing international e-commerce business. Marceau Leon, CEO of RYU, stated, We will always protect our intellectual property and we are proud to own the RYU marks. The word respect is in our name and at the heart of our values and it is the purpose of our movement. Yo, I like this guy, man. You can go to Vimeo and you can see Respect Your Universe and follow all of their videos right there. And there's some pretty cool videos. They have all of them right there on Vimeo. And I like what I see, guys. i like to know what you guys think. Please comment down below. If you like this video, share it everywhere. This RYU, if you're watching, my son is a soccer player and my daughter is a gymnast. I would love it if you could maybe sponsor their teams and help you get a little bit more exposure. Maybe we could work together. Your boy Rich, we love working with the people and we love working with the companies. I, I, I did think this guy's story is very good and I think that this is going to be a huge success. And I think at only 15 cents, it is so cheap and has so much potential and they are growing and they're everywhere. Since stepping into a larger role with RYU, Leon and his team, which includes people with backgrounds from activewear brands such as Nike and Nike and Lululemon, have enacted an overhaul of the brand that is set to be fully unveiled in September 2015. What do you guys think? I mean, the news just keeps going, introducing RYU, the Canadian sportswear brand that wants you to respect your universe. I mean, the news is everywhere. It is amazing and the company looks good. I think it looks really, really good. What do you guys think? RYU. I think it has some huge potential. I'd like to know what you guys think. Comment down below. They're everywhere. RYU. Could it be the next Lululemon? RYU Apparel is the newest threat to challenge the fashion monopoly controlled by conventional clothing conglomerates Nike, Gap, Adidas, and Lululemon. Wow. So they're competing with some big, big names right now. What do you guys think about this? Do you guys think that they actually have what it takes to compete with some of these bigger names? The company's revenue has grown each year since 2016, 1.36 million in 2016, 3 million in 2017, and 8 million projected in 2018, and even outsold Lululemon and Under Armour combined over the first two years. 4.5 million versus 2.4 million of business. Wow, that's some big, big results. RYU expects to see margins increase once economies of scale are realized. Yo, wow. Guys, I need to know what you guys think about this. This is so big. And like I said, they keep comparing them to Lululemon and Under Armour and saying that they are crushing them as far as revenue. So... What do you guys think? Do you guys think that they have what it takes to be the next big name in the clothing industry? Let me know. Comment down below. RYU. I think it has huge potential, guys. I really do. I think it has huge potential. And you can go to RYU.com, learn more about their company, and feel free to contact the company. Feel free if you're interested in looking at their products. Please do so. It looks like they have so much potential. And who knows? You might even see an RYU store in your neighborhood soon. They are growing so quickly across Canada, the United States, maybe even globally. Stay tuned. If they do anything big, I will bring it to you first. I had to bring you this winner. I didn't hear anybody talk about it. And you know your boy Rich. We bring you the winners and we bring them to you first. If you're not winning, you're not watching RYU Apparel. RYU in Canada, RYPPF in America. Could it be a big winner? I think so. Bye.